we have the SATA cable 6 gigabyte SATA 3.0 the metal cover and here it is our motherboard check it guys very good looking we have two ports for uh, from GL mode PCIe 4 PCIe 4.0 <coughs> course you will need a battery to save your BIOS settings metal heatsink 8 pins in the back we have 4 USB 3.0 HDMI VGA and old display two ps1 mouse and keyboard two normal usb ports 2.0 and the sound we have one NVMI port CPU LED system fan and CPU fan pins or SATA ports Motherboard support almost all Ryzen CPUs, the 500 series. It have PCI E Gen 3. High quality audio capacity RGB Fusion support Smartphone features Up to 3600 MHz RAM Okay, let's check its BIOS. Turn on your computer and click the delete key to enter the BIOS. Then go to advanced memory settings and enable the memory overclock XMP profile. You can edit the CPU frequency, but I don't recommend touch let's check for other stitchings
go to advanced CPU settings here you can enable the virtualization for the CPU Activation resize bar made some problems on my 3600 CPU. I don't recommend enabling it. App center can disable that if you don't want to download gigabyte apps. Let's control the light and the fans. I don't like it them. They are over dated. Then click save and exit.